Hi, my name is Dylan McLean. This is video blog 4-1 Digital Identity for my class, Preparing for the Future at Southern New Hampshire University. My digital identity is complicated. After watching the TED Talks video with Juan Enriquez and learning how everything I do is like an electronic tattoo, I feel like it's nothing I didn't already know, but applied to something as permanent as a tattoo like the ones covering my body, it suddenly has a different meaning to me. My digital identity and the things I choose to post or say or ask depend on the platform. I have so many social media accounts, it would be impossible to label them or spell them all off. The real world Dylan compared to my digital identity is the same in the sense that I filter myself. What I say with the group or with the group another depends on the intended audience. Sure, I may find myself in a dilemma where the filter was missing and maybe cause a problem internally or externally. Digitally, I am able to explore more than I do in the real world, and in return, I am able to uh, grow a larger network audience. <clears throat> Facebook is my biggest online presence and has changed how I am due to the network abilities it offers. I use my Facebook account and more specifically my personal page to highlight the happiness in my life and to show I'm a good person with good intentions. On my wall, you can find many accomplishments, my sense of humor, my love for my dog and family, my morals, <clears throat> and some of my interests. I tend to impersonate or express a humble American identity. For example, last year I joined a new gym um, and never was previously into fitness. Now I post my fitness goals, results, and challenges. Uh, I'm able to get tips and advice from others who are experienced because I have expressed a passion for something they're related to and uh, I definitely learned a significant amount of information from, from my posts and my friends doing that. Technology en enables me to express aspects of my life that I wouldn't be so open uh, about or know about uh, without being able to discover in a larger sense. Um, I am involved in online groups with people all over the world due to the nature of sharing, liking, commenting, we can see uh, more things, ask more things, and share more things, which means people know my patterns, my, my interests, my intentions, uh, what I'm doing almost all the time. Who, who would have thought that I could take a photo from my phone and share it to millions of people worldwide from a boat in the middle of the ocean? Well, 10 years ago, nobody. Uh, now with new technology, um, that was unheard of uh, 10 years ago, but with the new technology, we're able to take these trips, post them, um, and people who don't know me may think I'm a privileged uh, individual. Um, however, you know, 10 years ago, if I had taken that trip and shared that photo uh, with only the people that I had known, because uh, it's my only ability, there wouldn't be a, a pre, uh, pre, pre intended, um, inaccurate fact about me. <laughs> it'd, be a, it'd be a bad opinion. Um, but that's the world that we live in now. So the things that I did prior to technology as a young child shaped my basic uh, standards. Um, I would never get into an argument with my mom in public, and I certainly wouldn't uh, be found arguing or airing dirty laundry in any online format. Like previously mentioned, 10 years ago we did things differently and social classes were understood differently when the audience is more aware of the subject. However, with now with these advances in technology, our social structure is designed to compete and display um, lives, perfect lives of imperfect people. My online identity is like a performance. Anyone can be see, anyone can be anyone online. I'm striving for likes and followers and shares, comments, reactions, uh, most acknowledgments. The more I engage and share, the more active I am with my friends and the online world. I can't allow posts without reviewing them and most often deleting them. I will delete posts if they uh, nobody does any sort of activity on it after a while. I don't allow anything on my public page that isn't largely socially acceptable. And if it's um, sharing something online in a social media account to my personal page, I review and edit it, uh, the post several times and most often will delete them. If I had a printout or a tattoo of all the things I had done on the internet, I don't believe I'd be seen by anyone the same way I'm currently looked at. The things I do on the internet have a weight in on me, 
and who I am as a person because they are black and white. However, without context, it justified the overall understanding. Unknown identities are able to view the information that I share online and their opinion on me will largely be based on my online identity, even after meeting me in person. Since I use filters, my digital identity is often viewed as a communicator. I have a public Facebook account, so the things seen on my page are intended to capture the qualities I want to embrace without being someone I am not. And that is my uh, blog post this week. Thank you very much.